You'd probably think I'm she, her, right? Because yes. my tits are out, yes, but yes. I'm they, them. Today we're at Miami Pride and we're asking the most, possibly the most simple question, but also the most complicated question. How many genders are there? An infinite amount of genders out there, whatever that means. Well, no, I it's, it's important. What does that mean? I really don't know because I feel like I learn a new one every day. <laughs> Me too. Are they all real though? I mean, I don't think there's like a, a rigid number. I think it just depends on the individual. How many? How many? Yes. There's not two genders. No, I think yeah, there are infinite genders. Infinite genders? Yeah. We use the word gender to fit whatever our existence is into our language. Okay, so gender yourself. for you, gender is an exp if you are city, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vermo, and I'm back with another reaction video. Did I just hear that guy say infinite number of genders? Like, are my ears actually hearing correctly? What the heck? Okay, so this one is from Ariel Sander, and we have my sister out, but I'm non-binary. Gender confusion gets worse. Okay, what is this? What exactly is this? Like, the lady at the beginning was saying, my sister out, but I'm day then. Like, this whole confusion is, is crazy. Let's get, let's continue, guys. Fresh in. Yeah, you uh, present yourself to society. I understand, like, when I look like this, that someone's going to assume I'm she, her, but then I'll just politely tell them. I thought there was only two, to be honest, but, uh... I think that, too. Just respect how people yeah. feel. Yeah. You can respect how people feel, but yeah. still know the truth, yeah. right? I am of course. a trans non-binary person. What I the, use he, they pronouns. Okay, and... can you explain what that means? No, I can't. What if I present myself more masculine one day and more feminine another day? Does that mean that I'm gender fluid? Would a butch lesbian, in your opinion, naturally be gender queer or something? Okay, first of all, I love this lady. I love this interviewer. She is doing a fantastic job. Please, why is she blowing out the faces of those trans people? If you are trans and you are so... You should be, you know, confident in yourself. So why are they blowing out your faces? Let's see you. For who you are they, they cannot even explain their identity you are saying you are they them you cannot even explain what does that mean it couldn't even explain make it make sense gosh let's go on thing like that because they are more masculine presenting no i think no. that's up to their personal opinion i mean if you want to present yourself that way and you want to say that you're gender fluid it's okay so it has to do it, it all has to do with how i'm feeling in the society we live in i find that it's it is frustrating to have to explain to every single person what it means to be yourself, but I'm constantly shifting, I'm constantly changing, and wow. the way I am is not going to define me in literally probably two weeks. It's, it's an individual experience. How could we create that individual experience and make it into law? Because law is, is about hmm. the expansion, right? It's not about individuality. I don't prescribe to being a man or a woman. It's an internet thing, it's how you present yourself and how, and how you want to be treated. Normalize asking people their pronouns. It should just be a fluid thing. Would you call somebody a Zizim? If they say I don't even that's know what that they is. want to be, you're a would, you call, would you call them that though? No, I, I respect them, honest, but obviously. I would not. Just know that not everyone is the way that you might assume they are. How do you want to be treated? If I say, I want to be she, her, and I want to be more feminine, well, I can be that. It has nothing to do with how you present to the world and everything to do with how you feel inside. Yeah, exactly. it's your personal choice. Gender is on a spectrum, and I'm not all the way to the he, him side. I'm mm. kind of a little bit more like to the center. And you're but saying, you're right saying the, the center. gender expression, right? Yeah, but does, but just, just because you're feminine, does that mean you're not a man? No, no, I'm a man. Right, right, that's, that's all I'm a man. Yeah, 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 I'm a man. Oh my god, she said just because you're feminine doesn't mean you're not a man. And say, Yeah, 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 I'm a man. You are feminine, you're a man. It is confusing. And these people they want us to accept them for who they are. And now we are asking, who are you? They cannot even explain who they are. You yourself, you are so confused, you don't know who you are. So how do you even want us to accept what we don't even understand? You don't understand yourself. We don't understand you. Make us understand. You cannot even make us understand. The whole thing is just confusing. Oh, gender doesn't even make sense anymore. Goodness. Gosh. Gosh. And if they're so confident and so full of themselves, why are they blowing out their faces? I'm sure they would have told her, I don't want my face out there. Oh, how pathetic. Oh, you agree with you agree uh, yeah, with what yeah. I'm uh, Miscommunication? Yeah. Around what gender means and even what the term lesbian means these days. People can't even come to an understanding of what those words mean anymore. And the reason I'm making this video is because how can we 
be fighting for those rights with the external world if we can't figure out what those words and definitions mean internally if you are not 100 percent sure not that you're not but if you meaning you know somebody in general is not 100 percent sure and they might never know what they are how can we expect other people to try to understand us i think that it's a constant conversation and unfortunately like a lot of things hard conversations need to be had maybe you identify as one thing another day another as another day but it is kind of your personal responsibility to like communicate that maybe moving away from trying to strictly define for all people something that is always mm. going to have exception it is maybe the way that we come to an agreement my experience of what a term means to me with given my experiences my background my feelings is probably going to be different from the way someone else experiences it. Removing the idea of like we have to divide certain things by gender in law would remove the whole like, debate of do we need like how many genders are there and what should we clarify? Because if we if we remove the basis of having that type of like socio like socio cultural like factor contributing, there's no need to worry about it in terms of like a legal standing. Right. If it's just a social thing and you want to go by they them pronouns in with your friend group or anything like. I don't think the majority of us have an issue with that. If somebody is very clearly a man and a male, no matter how they identify, do you think that they should be able to enter women's spaces, protected women's spaces? Live in a binary world, and so we're constantly trying to find the ways to describe ourselves. We need to wow. give space for people who aren't sure, and you don't have to be sure ever. Typical men, you know? I, sometimes I'm a little bit more feminine, and it's, that's okay. That is okay, but yeah. do you think that means you're a different gender? I think that gender is on a spectrum and I'm not all the way to the he him side. I'm kind of a little bit more like to the center. Right? Yeah, but just, but just because you're feminine, does that mean you're not a man? No, no, I'm a man. Right, right, that's, that's I'm what, a man. what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be a bigger conversation. Obviously, if this is like a cis straight identifying male, then no, you know, they shouldn't be in a queer space. They shouldn't be in a woman's space. How, how, do you, how are you the one to decide that, though? I would ask. I've been going around the whole day and asking people how many genders there are, and no one has really been able to give a concrete answer. And that's to me, to, to me, that's a, to me, that's an issue, regardless of if I think there's two or a million, because in order to be fighting for something as a community or for something that we feel is right we should be able to in my opinion we should be able to define it to interact with our community that is incredibly undefiable undefinable why do we have to like explain ourselves so much like i also don't understand a lot of straight people and the way they work and like cis people and like i think we need to define ourselves specifically because we're asking for very specific laws to be changed okay i see i understand in terms of lawmaking but when it comes to lawmaking and especially when it comes to kids and, and not gaping but my opinion not gatekeeping what the word transgender or gender dysphoria means that anybody can identify as trans i think a lot of people are going to have a problem with that which is why it's very specific to me it's very important to me to define what gender is to know a very specific medical definition mm. Because I think there is, there's going to be, a, there are already a lot of detransitioners, okay. and it's going to be an, an ongoing thing, especially for for young women. I think it's definitely like the far right likes to make it seem like that more than it actually happens. I definitely know some detrans people. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is crazy. This is hilarious. Yeah, trust. <laughs> When she asked the guy, are you feminine? He said, yeah, I'm feminine, but I'm also a man. But you're a man. He said, yes, I'm a man. So you're a man, you're feminine. What is that? These people, they don't even understand what they are saying. They are confused. Confused beings. The worst part is the fact that some people even refer to themselves as us. As an us, like an animal. How the hell, an human being, you call yourself an animal, and you expect us to just go ahead with the flow and call you an animal make it make sense these things make no sense i don't believe in this old cis trans um transgender i don't believe in it it's just crazy these are just a bunch of confused beings they need to go for therapy this people they are making things way more complicated than they are and it's so sad that they are all young people what is this generation turning into call yourself gay lesbian it is sad it is pathetic the fact that they themselves they don't even understand who they are so am i supposed to accept you when i don't even understand who you are 
And that's what I'm saying. Even the straight people, they can be complicated at times. How are we complicated? We the straight ones, we are it's complicated. You, my darling, are the one who is complicated because you do not even understand what you stand for. You don't know what your gender is. You are complicated. You are confusing your gender with your personality. It is absurd. They are just like fanatic. They are tired of explaining who they are. Yes, they cannot even explain who they are. Do you get? And they change the agenda every two weeks <laughs> yet if you mislabel them there will be problem normalize asking people their pronouns they them she are e e i am they them <laughs> make it make sense what are your thoughts what do you guys think drop a comment down below if you are gay if you are trans are you watching this video please explain to us who you are because i am so confused at this point thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video and if you are new to this channel join your team please subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops and that's guys see you in my next one bye guys myself